Okay, today I'm just going to take you through another way to take spikes out of your data. So the previous video I showed, it was just if you had like one or two data points that were extreme compared to every other value. Here in this database, um, my spikes are quite a few data points wide. So it's going from row 2374 up to 2420. So it's quite a bit of data to have to go and sit and remove all of that data. So I want to put a, a mask in place or use, I'm actually going to use the maths um, expression builder for the databases to just tell it, well, ignore any value that falls under this line and falls above this line. So just keep this data that goes um, that follows this trend. It's quite a rough way of doing it. Um, the main reason why I'm doing this video is because I forgot how to do it in the past and so I wanted to um, have a video on how to remember to create um, if-then expressions. So let's get started. Um, in my database here you can see this nano tesla channel is my magnetics and I've displayed it by going right click show profile. I'm going to create a new channel um, so I you would go right click insert column so I've already inserted this column here and you can either create this heading now or we can create it in the maths expression builder and so I'm calling it nano tesla marks I'm doing this in two steps just so I can better see what's happening with my data I sometimes feel if you just do it in one step you don't always see if something goes wrong and so what I'm going to do now is go database tools channel maths so I want you to click on here. I'm actually going to go here to the heading and right click click on Channel Maths Expression Builder. You won't have this option if you don't have anything in this column. But because I've already created this expression, I'm going to go here so that it goes to the expression I've used for this column. So I go here. And you can see what I've done here is I've got my two variables. So C0 is what I want to go in this new channel. And so I called it Nano Tesla underscore mast. C1 is an existing channel. That's why it's blue. And if you click on it, you can only choose from a drop down menu. You can't rename it. And so I'm choosing my Nano Tesla, um, the, my original magnetics channel. And you can see here what it would do then is give you the C0 and the C1, and you would have to put in the rest of these characters. And so you're going to put equals open brackets, C1, and so I'm saying greater than 52,800. Um, and so what that means is that everything that is less than 52,800, all this stuff down here, I want to make it a dummy. So just what it's going to do then is you can see here, it just puts in a star, and it's, it doesn't grid any value there. It just leaves a gap. So if any value is underneath 52,800, it's going to put in a dummy, and that's this one here. But if any value is above 52,800, so this line and above, it's going to, the value it's going to put in this column is the original value from our magnetics. So let's do that again. Everything above this line, or above 52,800, I've figured out that this line is approximately 52,800. Um, any value that's above that 52,800, then put that value in this column. But if any value is below that value, I don't want it anymore because it's giving me these weird spikes. So I want you to put a dummy value, the star, and then it doesn't um, plot it on the map. So I click OK. And let me display this for you. I'm going to show on profile. And you can see here, um, let me give the, get the same scale for them. Oh, sorry. Going to I've, So what I did there was I right-clicked on the screen, I went to Y-axis options, and I'm clicking on the second one here, same scale for all profiles. And you can see my scale is exactly the same now. So this green line is this new mask channel, and then the red um, spikes going down have been removed. But the problem is I've still got these spikes going up. And so I'm creating a second channel, so you'd go right-click, insert column, and you can either name it, or again we'll name it when we go into database tools, channel maths. Um, let's just check if this is the right one. Yeah. And so I'm going to again create this channel name. I'm calling it nt underscore mask2. And the channel, that I, the variable that I'm feeding into this equation is this mask um, column that I've just created. So I'll choose it from the drop down menu. Make sure you don't click your original nano tesla column. And again, it's just going to give me those two variables, and I've got to type in all these special characters. And so what I'm saying here 
is that I've looked at all of these peak values and I can see that everything I'm interested in here is below 52,900. And so what I'm saying is here is if this column here that I've just created, if any variable is under 52,900, I want to keep it. And I, I want to keep that value, the C1 value, and I'm going to put it in this new column. If any value is above 52,900, so these spikes, I don't want them. And I'm going to call them a dummy. I'm going to make them a dummy variable, these stars, and then it's not going to plot it. So you're going to click um, OK. Before you do that, can I just um, point out, if you don't know already, you can actually save your expressions. Um, and thankfully, I had saved this expression, else I wouldn't have remembered how to do it. And so what you would do here is you would, if you click on these three dots, it shows you where it's going to save it, and you give it a name, and it's got this .exp um, extension and you would click save and then so in future if you want to load it again instead of having to retype it every time you just click on load so you would click OK I'm just going to close it here and you can see if I right click on on the second channel and I plot it it's just these blue lines going along I've lost all of these peaks now I'm going to take out these two unimportant ones and just show you a flaw in my methodology so this really is a quick and dirty way of doing it. So I've just got my line. I'm going to right click on the screen here and go rescale all. And so you can see um, this is my data, but I've still got some of these sparks in it. If I plot my original data, show profile, um, let's click here. So the blue data is my mask channel, the red is what we've removed. You can st still see here some of this, I wouldn't be sure. Like there, that's definitely part of the spike. So I haven't, the problem is if I, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure I should up the value at which my cutoff is. I start to get nervous though about removing real data. And so that's why it's just been a, a getting out the big um, spikes. Um, yeah, and then you would have to go back and, and decide if this is real data or not or real anomalies. So I'm going to stop the video there and leave up the, the hard part up to you, but this was just really to show you how in your maths expression builder you can have an if-then statement. So if um, a certain statement holds true, then what are you going to put into your column here and using that for masking. There are other ways to mask. I know particularly if you're doing a map in Geosoft, you can mask using polygons. Um, I just did this as a quick way of masking my channel.